Hi Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see who, um, who does the universe want you to be with, okay? So are they sending a special person into your life? Is this person currently already in your life and circling around you? So we want to see whom is the universe guiding you towards, okay? We'll try and see if we can get as much detail as we can about this particular romantic energy, your situation, how you might meet, or if you've already met, you know, how will things unfold between the two of you. Now, I also want to mention that there is going to be a part two to this reading, and in part two, we're just going to explore the messages in a little bit more detail, okay? So depending what messages pop up in part one, we'll explore those and delve that little bit deeper in part two. And if you're wondering how you can get a hold of part two, that is going to be made via the extension link below. On that note, for those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. Um, I will also list my email address for you to get in contact with me just below the video here, you know, under that uh, show more section where you'll find that extension link. With all of that being said, let's go ahead, let's focus on the messages here. Whom is the universe sending into your life next? Interesting. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Um, this is someone, this person feels like, I know you've only got the one Queen of Cups, but I'm picking up very strong water energy here. So there may be a water sign. If they aren't necessarily a water sign, look, they could be any sign, but I feel like I'm picking up a lot of water energy here in the sense that maybe the two of you are going to be really emotionally connected and very emotionally attracted towards one another. You'll find that perhaps this is someone whom you um, will or you may already have. This person either is yet to enter your life from what I can see or they're already you already have this person in your life but it's not that simple. It's a little complicated. I feel like, and we'll go down that road a little bit further soon, but I feel like this person may already be in your life. It's just that, you know, there hasn't been a lot of movement in terms of um, progression here. I do feel like this, it could be someone whom you will fall in love with at first sight or someone whom you'll start to catch feelings for very early on. I say this because the two of you just will find that there's just going to be this, space where the two of you will really connect emotionally on an emotional level yes there will be an attraction and that's important but i feel like that attraction is going to stem beyond the physicality so yes you know they'll they'll look good to you and you know that they'll think you're very beautiful here but it, it'll go beyond that physical attraction there's just to me it feels like you guys are communicating here with your eyes so even though upon your first meeting here they may not necessarily 
um, you may still wonder whether or not they're attracted to you or whether or not, you know, um, they're feeling what you're feeling, but it's in the eyes. Let me tell you, it's in the eyes. It's in the way that they look at you. It's in the way that sometimes you'll catch them staring at you and they'll, they'll sort of avert their gaze. So just remember, if you're not sure of whether this person is attracted to you, okay, if this person is in your life and you're second guessing, or if you think, you know, if you're making this up in your head, it's in the eyes, it's always in the eyes, and especially with this person, um, they just have this very intense stare, I'm getting blue eyes, I'm getting heartbreaking blue eyes, beautiful blue eyes actually, um, they could also be brown, but I just feel like their eyes are very beautiful here, they're very soulful, okay, so this is someone who I feel like is, you're going to develop a very strong emotional bond and emotional connection with this person. Um, this is someone who's going to see you, if you're a female watching this, then I feel like this is someone who's going to see you as very feminine, okay? And if you do, like for example, if you do dress, um, they're very, they're attracted to like a feminine type of energy, if it's a male we're talking about, um, or just in general, this person I feel like is attracted to someone very feminine. And, and they'll really appreciate your feminine energy and your fluidity here. So try and bring out that a little bit more whenever you're around them. They'll appreciate the way that you dress and you'll sort of, you know, enhance that feminine energy of yours. Um, they're going to be very attracted to you for reasons they might not necessarily even be able to um, understand at first. So it's like you might meet them and... For some of you, you could meet this person in a professional space or a professional setting. So it could be like a client, um, I don't know if you're the client here or they're the client. It could be in a career setting as well. It just feels like there's this barrier, okay? There's this barrier of space between the two of you. And maybe that could be because they don't want to overstep any professional boundaries. You could potentially be feeling the same way, feeling the same way. But with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like this is a connection that's going to build over time. This is why I feel like... It's like you see this person frequently and this is why I feel like maybe this person is a um, like a healthcare practitioner of some sort or like a client of yours or someone you work with. So you see them frequently enough to start over time to really start catching feelings for. But I feel like it, it'll be on for some, for some of you and I feel like for a large handful of you, it'll be like at first glance. You'll instantly fall in love with this person. This is someone who I feel like despite them, okay, I see that there is a barrier. Now there could be different types of barriers there could also be someone who is attached okay to someone else they may be in a relationship with someone else they may be seeing someone else they may be in a partnership here so you know not only do they not want to overstep those professional boundaries but hey they're already attached or otherwise i feel like with the four of pentacles energy then i see this person as an anxious attachment style so if you do consider getting involved in a romantic relationship with this particular energy, just know that later down the track, um, there may be a few, um, just something for you to look out for, I guess, because this person can, because of their um, attachment style here, it's coming across as very anxious, they can come across as a little bit needy or a little bit clingy, a little bit possessive and quite jealous. I feel like for quite some time, there's not going to be a lot that's happening. Feelings are going to be building, attraction is going to grow, is going to keep growing, it's going to intensify, it's going to amplify, but it feels like neither one or the other is wanting to do anything about it. Not that they don't want to do anything about it, I mean, if you want to talk about wants, hey, that's a whole different story, because they want you and you want them and you know you, you want a whole heap of things here but it just feels like this they're holding back in a way and so are you so for a while i feel like this you're going to go through this period where not a whole heap is going to happen okay purely because this person is scared to make a move they're scared to overstep any boundaries they also don't know how you feel okay and they don't know that they can trust what they feel just like yourself it just feels like this person is very similar energy and it feels like they too are going to be questioning whether you're actually really attracted to them or whether you'll reciprocate if they make any advances or move towards you. So I can see that they do hold themselves or they will hold themselves back. 
there's something here that I feel like will sort of go off like a light bulb moment. So either you might hint at your attraction towards them, either you might be the one that asks them out, or you might sort of, you know, green light them in the way. Because there's something here that's sort of, it's sort of going to go off like this light bulb moment, just like in cartoons. It's like, aha, they like me, or aha, she's interested, or aha, he's my, you know, um, he's my move, he's, uh, you know, the green light. So I do see a light bulb moment, but it feels like it's going to happen later on okay in the meantime you guys are gonna do this song and dance where you really want each other you're very attracted to each other you're very drawn to each other but you're still keeping this you're still keeping this space between one another and you know what in a way it's a good thing because I feel like my gosh it's building that attraction that chemistry that intensity is building each and every time you see them and you know, much like the Nine of Pentacles, what comes next? Ten. So there is going to be a culmination here, okay? Some things will happen, okay? You know, it, there has to be. So we're going to explore exactly what might happen in the future um, for this connection in part two of the reading. I do see them making a move here, okay? I do see them, either they're going to make a move or I see them responding. So there's going to be some sort of movement something that will allow this connection this chemistry to progress um, however i also see as i've mentioned i also see boundaries i see boundaries that if they're overstepped they will have consequences so i feel like this they could be it could be in a professional setting and they may not want to jeopardize their reputation um, they may not want to put themselves at risk or an in a, an embarrassing type of situation so I do see them uh, keeping their distance here and I also see that there's this little there's a lot of passion here but it's like they can't get close to you okay it's almost like for whatever reason they can't get close to you they want to but either they hold themselves back because of the situation here or they don't know how you feel even if they're single they still don't know how you feel let me tell you this I do feel like this is someone whom you're going to end up in a relationship with I do I feel like this is it potentially could be someone you might even get engaged to or married to but I do see something a long term that might potentially eventuate from this okay and we're going to explore exactly why um, I say that in part two of the reading here and we'll explore how or will those boundaries come down okay so how will they find a way to sort of go around okay these boundaries um, will they find an alternative way to approach you you know how because I do feel like there's going to be some sort of progression here in the meantime I don't see a lot of movement okay and maybe just hold off now because when the hangman appears in a reading it does tell us that sometimes the best course of action is not taking any action at all and I know it's a bit of an oxymoron but sometimes we can take drastic or impulsive action and that might backfire here so sometimes it's good just to let it you know wait it out come what may and see what happens here because i do feel like something is about to happen we'll find out what in part two of the reading so also if you're after a personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out otherwise guys i do want to thank you for your time your energy and attention guys thank you so much for your support to the channel for all your kind words and for reaching out to me for personal readings it's all greatly appreciated here um, okay, and I'll be catching up with you guys later. And for those of you that are going to be uh, checking out the extension, I'll see you on the other platform. Bye for now.